So let's move on to the next feature, and it's also mine feature. And it's Shogun 2 feature that I was requesting ever since Steam days. Dojos. I want dojos in, in the game. I think they would be great addition. And basically how it would work is the same way it did in Shogun 2. Where you have dojos in um, balanced places on the maps. Where they're you know, equal distance from each team. So each team has a fair chance of fighting for all of those dojos. Um... And yeah, they basically give you a boost. So you can capture a temple, and temple gives you a morale boost. And you can capture a weaponsmith, and that gives you uh, an attack damage buff. You can uh, capture um, armor smith. Is that a thing? I don't know. Armory. There we go. And that gives you boost to armor. You know, archery dojo for arches, better reload. And though maybe you would need to make the dojos more generic so that they can benefit every single unit no matter what you have so you don't have a specific archery dojo but just give it to uh, like weaponsmith and if you capture that if you're playing um, infantry you get melee attack or melee damage and if you're playing archers you get well missile damage instead thoughts guys yeah, I mean, I, I really like the feature from Shogun 2. I mean, I mean, you could see that uh, it was a very popular feature. I mean, a lot of people liked that that kind of element where, depending on sort of what units you could have, you would decide to focus on on one dojo or something, which it wouldn't be quite as possible in in arena as as you said before with the with the obviously um, the, the dojos would have to be much more generic uh, to benefit. All of the uh, all of the all of the different units you could have on a on a singular team, um, but uh, I definitely think that having a feature like that it would tie very nicely into what they've done already uh, on Arena. You know, with the addition of the the additional capture points rather than just the bases. You know, with the A B C D E, uh, that that would work lovely. You know, you could have the the B point might might give you an offensive boost, and the the C point might give you the defensive or something like that. The possibilities are there, and um, obviously the, the previous uh, content already in another Total War game. You know, you have that that kind of past experience with the feature to uh, sort of nail down the specifics of how you might want to adapt it to a specific arena setting. Yeah, um, I wouldn't tie it necessarily to the capture points themselves. Just make Dojo a separate building that stands on its own. Um, I think that might be quite also, difficult. yeah. That that idea originated before that new game mode was implemented. Um, so, and yet yeah, the capture points are kind of like dojos, which are you know interest points on the map that you need to fight for. But you know dojos uh, themselves don't really translate into winning the game. They just help you. Mm, yeah. Well, in terms of capture points, they are directly correlated to winning the game by points I mean, by I'm reaching sure the three thousand five hundred. Because obviously, if you had these separate, if you say you had two dojos in a game, which would be sort of like the bare minimum, then you're talking about seven capture points and two bases. You're having like nine areas you could capture. You, you'd struggle, you'd struggle to find enough sort of dead zone if that makes any sense. Because you do want that kind of dead space on the map where you can fight and it's not over a specific um, like objective. You do want that area where the whole map isn't just capture point after capture point, uh, and so it's, it would be a delicate balance. But I reckon you could do it. Yeah, I, I kind of disagree. I think that actually wouldn't be an issue. Um, like the maps are big enough to fit dojos as they are right now, and there is enough players in battle to cover those. And it also would maybe kind of solve the issue that we are talking about in the previous podcast. Um, where we talk about you know the creation of lanes where people just funnel into you know those capture points and that's the only thing they see like okay I go for B I go for B I go for B I die and respawn and go for B and go for B right and here mm, when you yeah. introduce dojos that could help you know spread players more evenly across the battlefield yeah, again it as, as it a was front in the past line, essentially yeah so I think that feature is honestly great for the new game mode. Um, it would be great even for the old game mode, 
I mean, that's <clears throat> when I already came up with the, <clears throat> with the idea of introducing Dodgers to Total War Arena. And they can fit into any game mode, really. And even if the developers think that that's not the case, well, they can have Dodgers in one game mode and not have the game the Dodgers in the other game modes. So, yeah. But overall, I think they're just really fucking great. Asolfo? I would like to comment on something George mentioned with... Uh where he feels like it could, you know, uh, draw people away from the flags or whatever. I think that's a good thing. Also, I think you need to place them in a place that you still have flanking lanes, because, let's face it, flanking was one of the most impactful tactics of the time, right? And if, you know, you can never flank because there's people dotted around everywhere, then that could be an issue. But overall, I love the idea. I think it's great. I think it would actually give cavalry something to skirmish over at the start of the game, right? Like, if you have a cav stopping the other cav from taking the dojo, or even if, you know, it was an archer dojo and the cav could deny it from the enemy team by winning the cav skirmish over it, I think you could do it that way too. I think, you know, it could add almost a uh, multiple mini games to the actual game itself especially for a cav player who will probably either sit around and skirmish on the edge or you know wait till it can sneak around and kill arty or archers or something like that right like it kind of gives them it kind of gives cav a, a true and concrete objective to go for early in the game yeah that definitely ties into the balance of the game a little bit in terms of you know cavalry maybe being superior for fighting of those, but if you place the dodges in appropriate places once the infantry gets there, I think that's resolved. Also the flanking issue you mentioned, I actually don't think it will be an issue. Um, it was, it never was an issue before when people weren't falling into the, the lines for through capture points. Uh, you could easily flank people before and you will be able to do it as much as you were and are right now. So, yeah, I don't really see that becoming an issue. And if it ever does, I mean, you can tweak that. How the dojos yeah, work, where they're placed. Capture speed on specifically dojos so that they can't just deny it every game or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we also talked about it with the previous uh, podcast where we discussed uh, the test. Just the, the two and a half hour long yeah, one. That's balance team thing, though. That's not really something yeah. we should solve for them. Yeah, not the feature. And as I said, let's 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 move on.